Pack Merchandising, Town Line Variety, 77 of Jay-Z, Jessica Zemkin. And in the back row, out of Fort Erie, Ontario, in the 94Z, the Service Master Dixon Auto Body, Zenkin Truck and Trailer, car number 94Z is Stan Zenkin, and it is outside at the Caster Center in the KT Tobacco Lines Concrete Tetra Cam Booster Juice 19 rookie driver, Corey Turner. First qualifying heat, eight cars, eight laps the distance for the quarterback, merchandising sprint cars. So two of our three feature winners in 2014 in this heat race, Glenn Styers. And Jessica Zemkin, and Zemkin gets a good run on the top side in turn two that time. They rock it down into corner number three. Here comes Glenn Styers. He spent the most time on the track this week. Most of it, though, was behind a tractor. Now he's driving the sprint car back to the high side as they work it down the back stretch. Justin Martin picks up a spot on Scott Shirk, puts Martin up to fourth now. Meanwhile, up front, side by side between Styers and Kretschka, not for long. Styers takes the lead now in the zero. Tires to the point. He gets by the point leader. Mikey Kretschka as they work it in through three and four. Here comes last week's winner, Jay-Z Jessica Zemkin into second for the moment. Zemkin goes to the bottom and takes over second, then takes the 77X back up to the top side. That allows Kretschka to challenge in turn two, but Zemkin with a good run down the back stretch. Glenn Styers checking out on the top two. Cross flags are out, four in, four to go. Jessica Zemkin sitting in second. Mikey Kretschka in third. Justin Martin into fourth. Jim Hoopinen now challenging for that fourth spot over Justin Martin. Hoopinen to the bottom side, Martin on the top, and they race side by side down the back stretch into turn three. Jessica Zemkin trying to get one more spot here for some more passing points, and reel in the leader, Glenn Starr. She started sixth, he's in second. She's the one on the move right now. Yeah, she's gonna have a tough time trying to catch Stiers though. He is strong out front right now, running laps in the low 14 second bracket is the driver in the zero. Drivers must just love this track compared to one week ago when it was so bumpy down in one and two. It is very smooth right now. White flag is out for the Oshwegan Flyer, Glenn Styers. Glenn now running the middle groove, trying to search around a bit and see how that works out. Didn't work out in turn three too well last time as he had the wheels cranked hard to the left. Checkered flag is out. Your winner of the first heat, Glenn Styers. Jessica Zemkin second, and third is Mikey Kretschka. Fourth will go to Justin Martin, and fifth will be Jim Hoopinen. Sixth at the line will go to Stan Zankin, then it's Scott Shirk and Corey Turner. So there's your winner of the first qualifying heat out of Oshweekin and the Rochester Nighthawks, Renway Energy. It's Top Gun Award winner. We're going to rename the award after him if he does it four weeks in a row here tonight. But he's got some very strong cars in front. And he's got to do better than Zemkin did in the first heat because she did it first, which means she gets the tiebreaker if it comes to that. So Heath has to win this heat race to get the Top Gun tonight. Yes, Jessica started. Jessica started sixth, finished second. Keith starts sixth. He would have to win it. As Tommy just alluded to, to get the Top Gun award, barring who comes out of the third heat. So the way the passing points work is you get a certain amount of points for the finishing position, and then you get points for moving up positions or you lose points for falling back. So if you start on the pole, you want to stay there. And if you start near the back, you want to move to the front. We'll see who does what here in eight laps. Seven cars will make up this second qualifying heat. We're underway. The Tilbury Tornado and Sean Slater throw it down into corner one. And now we're getting a call for yellow, I believe, but we'll see green for now with Patrick still out front. Then it's Brown second. Slider, then Steele with a good run on the outside. Patrick working up on that top side. Mitch Brown there in tow, and here comes Chris Steele to the outside of Sean Slider. Keeping an eye on Keith Dempster. He has managed to make one pass, now working on Slider. So Patrick still out front, but Mitch Brown is on the move in that number 10 car. Keep an eye on him as he takes it to the top side. Kind of an uncharacteristic line for the blue number 10 of Brown. Tied for third in the points right now is Mitch Brown in car number 10. He works it down the front chute, trying to catch the leader, Kyle Patrick, who has checked out right now in the 33K. Patrick, a former feature winner, got one last year, and now Dempster slows. That allows Turner to get back to the back end of the number five. So Kyle Patrick sees the cross flags that time by. Four in, four to go here in this second. Qualifying heat for the core pack. Merchandising sprint cars. Mitch Brown sitting there in second. Chris Steele in third. 
Lap times again in the low 14 second bracket for your leader, Kyle Patrick. Behind him, it's Brown. Then Steele, Sean Slater, the rookie, doing a good job up in the top five right now. This time by, your leader works it off a corner four. Two laps to go for the Tilbury Tornado. Kyle Patrick with Mitch Brown sitting about three quarters of a straightaway behind in second. Brown has finished in the top five in all three features we've run this this year so far here at Rush Weekend. But he is watching the 33K of Patrick pull away right now. White flag out for Patrick. One more trip around for Kyle Patrick tomorrow night. He'll take the wings off down to the South Buxton Raceway for the Ontario Topless Sprint. But off a corner fourth, he'll get a winged win here tonight in the second qualifying heat. Kyle Patrick, your winner. So Patrick gets the win. Second will be Brown. Third is Steele. Fourth to Sean Slater. And fifth will be Dempster. Then it's Jamie Turner and John Burbridge, those two will go to the B-Main. So your winner out of Tilbury, Ontario in the McKinley Electric, Patrick Weldy. Car number 33K, it's the Tilbury Tornado. And in his first race, rookie driver to Thamesford, Ontario on the Vipond, Deller Carn. Rickling Brothers trucking car number six, it's Curtis Gartley. Seven cars, eight laps the distance, the final qualifying heat with the core pack, merchandising sprint cars. Well, here we go, third and final heat race. Three number five cars in this one, a total of four number five cars here tonight. And Hoddick will get the early lead. Here comes Hughes now with a good run down the backstretch. Hughes jumps into the third spot, now making a charge on the 5C of Connor Mahoney on the outside, but here comes Brad Malloy back to the bottom. Keeping an eye on that number 10, Jay of Jeremy Hughes gets better each and every week as he tries to get a run on Malloy down the backstretch. Hoddick is taking off out front. Here comes Dave Dykstra now looking down to the inside of Jeremy Hughes, trying to make it three fives in a row there. At the front though, Todd Hoddick leading this one. Hoddick with one of the fastest laps of the night so far that last time by 13.826 for the driver of the 49. Hoddick is your leader across the stripe. In second will be Brad Malloy in the 5M. Then it's Connor Mahoney in third. And the battle is on for the fourth spot. Jeremy Hughes and Shane Ross. Shane will grab the fourth position. Dave Dykstra had a wild ride through corner three the last time. We'll keep an eye on him through here again. Almost got upside down in the 5D. Well, Todd Hoddick checking out. He's got more than a straightaway advantage over second place, Brad Malloy. Good run for him considering he hasn't been in a sprint car in quite a while. So a good run in second spot for Brad Malloy. The battle right now for third. Here comes Shane Ross. He'll get by Connor Mahoney. And Ross picks up a few passing points. The top 10 in the passing points redraw for the feature starting spots. So even if you can't get the top gun award, it still pays to get those passing points. Two to go. This time by though, it'll be white flag for Todd Hoddick as he is nearly a half a lap ahead of Brad Malloy, the Chitawaga native, putting a spanking on this field. Hoddick has been close to feature wins here already in the last few weeks, and I think we're gonna see the 49 be very strong tonight as he comes around and gets the heat race win. Second, as he finally comes around here, will be Brad Malloy. Third will be a fast closing Shane Ross. Then it's Connor Mahoney at the line. For the fifth spot, it will be Dave Dykstra. Then Jeremy Hughes. Stan Zankin and Jamie Turner on the front row. Jeremy Hughes, Corey Turner, row two. John Burbage, Curtis Gartley, row three. And Scott Shirk in the back. Coming to the green flag, the final five tickets to be punched into the A main happens now. So here we go with Turner and Zankin leading us down into turn one. Two grooves there, bottom and top. Gartley in the number six doesn't look like he's been out here the first time as he gets around the 43 of Shirt. Here comes Jamie Turner. He's your leader of lap number one. Nine to go in this B main for the Core Pack merchandising sprint cars. Stan Zankin sitting in second. Corey Turner in third. Then it's Burbridge and Hughes, the final two in transfer positions. So Turner putting up a gap on Zankin now. Then it's Corey Turner third. Fourth is Burbridge. As those drivers as well as Jeremy Hughes have the final transfers. Gartley though in the six is catching Hughes. Jamie Turner checking out right now on the field over Stan Zankin. Corey Turner with a nice run sitting in third. 
John Porbers, Jeremy Hughes remain there in the top five with Curtis Gartley doing a nice job in this first run here tonight in the six. And Gartley in the former John Riegling car, Riegling a former feature winner here at us weekend, so I'm sure he gave Gartley a few tips. And he's trying to catch Hughes for that fifth and final transfer spot right now. Cross flags are out this time by for Jamie Turner of the Caster Center and the Hanks Discount Smokes car number 11. The battle heating up though for second is Corey Turner reeling in Stan Zenkin. Corey Turner learns more and more every week in that sprint car. His fourth week here at us in that car. Got a little bit squirrely up in turn two that time. Was making time in last week's feature until he hit the inside wall and flattened the tire. Yeah, Corey's looking very impressive in that 19. That's taken him no time at all to catch on. And he's challenging now for the second spot, but he's feeling some heat now from the veteran, John Burbridge. Yeah, Burbridge, not only a veteran of the sprint cars, but also of the sportsman ranks here at Oshriek. He's been racing here a long time, and now he takes it to the inside looking for that spot. This time by, we will see the two-to-go signal from Dale Shuneman for Jamie Turner. He's got a straightaway advantage over Stan Zankin in second. A three-car race for the second spot as Corey Turner and John Burbridge in the mix as well. So Turner heads through corner three and out of turn four. He will get the white flag this time by. One lap to go for Turner out front. Zankin a full straightaway behind. Keeping an eye on the fifth spot. Jeremy Hughes holds it down. Curtis Gartley is there within striking distance. Is as Scott Shirk. The checkered flag will come out for Jamie Turner. He'll cruise to the win. Stan Zankin still working off of three and through corner four to get the checkered flag for second. Corey Turner will be third. Fourth will be John Burbridge. And Jeremy Hughes will punch the final ticket into tonight's A main. Curtis Gartley and Scott Shirk will be done for the evening. So your winner of the last chance dance, the B-Main of the Caster Center, driving the hang on for Bridge. And in the final starting spot, out of Burlington, in the Malabar Super Sprite, Snap-on Tools, Chase Realty, Digital Detail, Ruta Corp, Car number 10J, it's Jeremy Hughes. 20 cars, 20 laps of distance, round number four. All right, I'll shriek at Speedway on your feet and wave these drivers on. 20 of the best, four abreast. Coming to salute you, the fans, on your feet. Wave your hat, your programs, whatever you got. Send these drivers on. It's the Corpac Merchandising Sprint Cars. Dale Shuttleman will show the field the white flag next time by these 20 drivers. We'll get on the fun pedal and we'll go racing for round number four, the 2014 Core Pack Merchandising Sprint Car Season. Three races so far, three different winners. Will we see our first repeat or another new face? We'll find out in 20 laps. Two by two, 10 rows of beautifully prepared sprint cars ready to come to life. Chris Steele, Glenn Styers on the front row. Ladies and gentlemen, you came looking for a show. Well, here you go. Let's end all the anticipation as we bring to you our feature presentation.
So here we go, a pair of 2014 feature winners on the front row. Steel on the inside, Styers on the outside. Steel tries to slide up, but Styers will take over the lead down the back stretch. Glenn Styers very quickly to the point, but here comes the real deal. Chris Steele in his tire tracks. Two drivers at the front already with feature wins here in 2014. So Styers has the early lead. Steele second. Malloy with a good run on the bottom now in the 5M, and here comes Patrick and Mitch Brown in the top five again. Brad Malloy, impressive run here tonight. First race back in a year aboard that 5M running in the third spot, showing no signs of rust at all. Malloy doesn't run here all that often anymore, but when he does, he's always a threat. And now he falls back a bit. Patrick to the outside, trying to take over third from Malloy. Chris Steele holding down the second spot, and here comes the Tilbury Tornado to the outside of Brad Malloy. Malloy has a spot for a moment, but Patrick back to the outside, trying to grab third away. So Styers has a 1.8 second lead right now over Chris Steele as Patrick and Malloy still fight over that third spot. Patrick not able to gain much on Steele right now. Wow, Glenn Styers bobbled a lot up at corner three that time. Caught a rut up around the berm there and he gathers it back up but he did lose a little bit of time that time around to Chris Steele. Right now the top side is the fast way around. Malloy, the only driver in the top five trying to run the bottom and that's not working out well to his advantage right now as Styers catches the tail end of the field. Yeah, Styers will work around John Burbridge in the 21J, up around the top side in corner number two. He'll clear him very easily. Next car in line will be Connor Mahoney in the 5C. So Styers puts a lap on Burbridge, and now heavy traffic is going to be in front of Styers, including a pair of cars side by side, Zankin and Mahoney that last time. Styers works to the outside of Mahoney, now catches the back end of the 94 of Stan Zankin, and Zankin running a little higher up, so it's going to be harder for the leader, Styers to get by Zankin. Steele has gained a little bit on Styers in this traffic, but still Styers have about a half straightaway lead. Steele is second, then it's Patrick. Then you go back another straightaway to Brad Malloy and Mitch Brown. Behind them, Todd Hoddick. Justin Martin with a wild ride up there. Jessica Zemkin, Shane Ross, and Jim Hoopin in the top ten. Yeah, the top three have definitely broken away. There are two lap cars between third place Kyle Patrick and fourth place Mitch Brown. The ten car has now moved up into the top five once again. Mitch Brown with a great season going on right now. Steele is now 1.4 seconds behind Styers. He has cut into the lead just a little bit, but Styers is going to have some clear track ahead of him once he clears the 10J of Hughes and the 71 of Slider. Nine more laps to go for Glenn Styers in the zero, looking for his second win of the season. He won on opening night. He'd like to grab another. He's second place in the points coming into tonight. Kyle Patrick is working as hard as he can to try to get around the 80 of Chris Steele, still up there fighting for that spot. And a bit of smoke out of the 33K the last time through corner four. Here comes Kyle Patrick down to the inside of the real deal. Chris Steele, the Tilbury Tornado, shoots by. He'll grab the runner-up position as there are now just seven laps to go. Styers has clear track in front of him now as the second and third place cars have three lapped cars in between. Patrick has cleared the 71 of Slider and now sets his sights on Hughes. Tell you what, Kyle Patrick is... Uh, Definitely making a hard charge here with six laps to go. He's got one lap car between he and the leader. He'll work to the outside of Jeremy Hughes through three and four. And Patrick is definitely gaining on Styers now. Has cut another two tenths of a second off the lead that time by. Still five to go. Patrick is not out of this yet. No, he gained more ground that lap, I believe, as well, as he closes the distance big time in corner number three. Across the stripe this time, Glenn Styers is your leader. The differential, another three-tenths knocked off. And Styers now sees more traffic ahead, so Patrick is going to have a chance here with three and a half laps left to go. Patrick is there now. Tornado warning for the Oshweekin Flyer. Glenn Styers, the Tilbury Tornado in his tire tracks with three laps to go. The differential now just three tenths of a second as they go into corner three. And Styers has not heard or seen anybody all race. He does not know Patrick is there yet. Two to go now for your leader, Styers, but Patrick is there. And a spin for Justin Martin in turn two. We will keep going. And Kyle Patrick, I think, got out of the throttle. That may have just cost him a shot at the win. He stays all there. Glenn Steyer slipped up a little bit in corner four. White flag is out. Patrick has to try to split these two lap cars. He will get around 
Dempster, but does he have enough time to catch Styers? Oh, he really was loose off a of corner number two that time. He'll make one more bonsai move through three and four, but off the fourth corner, repeat winner. Second time this year, Glenn Styers wins. And another caution-free feature, another track record for the Corpac merchandising sprint cars. Five minutes and 10 seconds on that race. So Styers with the win, second Patrick, third is Steele, fourth Zemkin, fifth is Mitch Brown, sixth will be Todd Hoddick, seventh Jim Hoopinen, Mikey Kruchka, and eighth Dave Dykstra, ninth Shane Ross runs out the top ten.